What's up guys, I know a lot of you have been looking forward to seeing a new top 10 glitch video, but first we need to talk about parallel universes in Paper Mario. We discovered something very interesting after experimenting with a theoretical speedrun skip in the Cooper Bros Fortress. Starting from the inside, you can delay the transition into the following room by doing perfectly timed jumps. You can even move during these jumps if you're really precise. Our angle and momentum is preserved in the next room, which can allow us to fall straight out of bounds if we store the room transition from afar. We call this glitch Loading Zone Storage, or LZS for short. Once in the next area, we maneuver out of bounds to clip our way into this wall, reach the edge of the world, and jump to the left. Our goal was to reach the front of the fortress, but unfortunately we weren't able to cross such a large gap. Instead, we noticed something else kind of strange was happening. So just real quick to explain typical out-of-bounds behavior, Mario will maintain any previous momentum and descend roughly a thousand units below the ground, then will fly back up after a fixed amount of time. As he ascends, the game checks if Mario is below ground or any collision. If he's not currently below collision, Mario is teleported back to his most recent position before falling. If Mario is below collision, he will spawn back on land, keeping his new position according to the ascent. However, in only a few known instances such as this one, it seems to react a bit differently. In this case, we are in fact teleported back to our initial position before the fall, but we don't end up reaching the ground. We initially thought this was a softlock requiring us to reset the game, but my friend Rainmaker took a look at our coordinates and noticed that Mario's height was skyrocketing. This explains why the Nintendo 64 version cannot process this, crashing instantly due to a floating point exception. But on the official Virtual Console releases, if we fall at a certain angle and hold the direction towards collision, after about 96 hours of watching the screen loop, we will reach a height of approximately 100 quintillion units, and fly up to what appears to be a duplicate of the original room, which can be summarized as a sort of parallel universe. Floors and walls are transparent in these parallel universes, but collision still exists. Strangely, some three-dimensional objects, such as the save block and treasure chest, are still visible. If we were to save the game at this point, we would reload back into the normal room, even though we were technically way above it according to the game's memory. Loading zones still lead to their respective areas, and those rooms appear normal. But if you try to open a door from a parallel universe, the game will crash. Also, clipping out of bounds from here and performing the same 96 hour ascent will land Mario in another parallel universe. Everything shown in this video has been done on console, although due to the tedious 4 day long setup and difficulty in replicating this glitch by hacking the game, we haven't tested too much with it, but it can theoretically be done in a few other locations that have abnormal out of bounds behavior, like the main room of chapter 6, the Little Oink Room in Toad Town, and near the Mayor's House in Shiver City. If anything else notable is found with this, I'll be posting updates through my Twitter account, at Strider7X. And make sure you guys check out Rain as well, because we work a lot together on Paper Mario glitches, including this one. So I've linked his info in the description. As always, thank you guys for watching.